Good morning. And isn't it a lovely morning? If you get that reference, please let me know down below. With that being said, I saw this, I heard about this um, just randomly. I don't even remember where I heard about this. And um, I was like, oh, well, animals doing things that animals do and people are shocked by it. Um, a zoo monkey eats her baby's corpse after carrying it around for days. Uh, the mother repeatedly tried to catch the dead infant's gaze before throwing the corpse around her enclosure and eventually devouring it. Um, a female drill monkey named Kumasi inspects her infant son's corpse as another drill watches on. A monkey from a zoo in Europe was recently seen carrying around her dead baby's corpse for several days after it died. Uh, then she devoured her own child. The mother's unusual actions may improve her chances of having another child in the future, experts say. In August 2020, the female drill uh, named Kamasi gave birth to a son, Dvorkrolove. Oh, at the Dvorkrol... I the safari park in the Czech Republic. But eight days later, the infant died. The cause of death was never determined, but the infant was soon deed to be in poor health when it was born. Kumasi carried her child's corpse around her enclosure for two days and prevented keepers from removing the body, potentially in denial that her offspring had died. But toward the end of the second day, things turned ugly as Kumasi began eating her dead baby. She had ingested most of the remains before the body was eventually removed. No other monkey in the enclosure ate any of the remains. Researchers who were studying the drill troop recorded the entire ordeal. The team described the grim event in a new study published June 27th in the journal Primates. The paper includes video of Kamasi carrying around and eating her child. It is not clear exactly how many times infant cannibalism has been documented, but it is very rare said co-author Elisabetta Pelagi, a primate biologist at the University of Pisa in Italy. Uh, in scientific literature, you can find only anecdotal reports. She told Live Science, this makes the recent event of an infant cannibalism one of the most well-studied cases to date, she added. Uh, in the days after the infant died, Kumasi... Uh, kept her infant close to her as other members of the troop came to inspect the child's lifeless body. Uh, the mother may have been grieving for her child, but the researchers suspect that she may actually have been unsure or unwilling to accept that he was dead. Mossy continually put her face in front of the corpse's eyeline as if trying to engage in, ba in her baby's gaze. Buggies and apes often expect the face of the dead babies like this, possibly to perceive the eye movement, Pelagi said. Uh, when the mothers do not receive any feedback from the baby, it probably means that something is going wrong. As time went on and she got no response, Mossy grew restless and began dragging and throwing the corpse around the enclosure. What followed next, from a human's point of view, was a horrific act. The researchers believe that Kamasi had good reason to devour her dead son. So, one thing I heard about this story originally, uh, it hasn't said in here yet, maybe it will later, I haven't read the article, is that... Um, they told everybody at the zoo that um, they were mourning, that the, that the monkeys were mourning. And I didn't realize this happened in 2020, but I guess because this research paper just came out, they wanted to keep it under wraps until they got all their research done, which makes sense. But um, yeah, they told everybody that the monkeys were mourning the loss of the baby and so not to come in, but but it was because they were, the monkeys were, the, the mom was eating the baby. Um, definitely wouldn't be my first choice of what to do, but of course I'm not a monkey. And here's a short video of that. She's throw. I mean, she just yeeted the, the baby, just yeeting it. it. Monkeys scare the hell out of me. Like, I mean, they're intelligent and I can respect that. And I, they're animals just like any other animals, just like we're animals. But, uh, dude, apes, monkeys, they're, they can be violent. They can be violent. And they, they have the physical ability to back it up most of the time. Um, 
If we consider the incredible reproductive energy investment of primate mothers, cannibalism can be considered an adaptive evolutionary trait that helps the mother to recover energy after gestation, Pelagi said. This could increase her chances of uh, reproducing success in the future, she added. Um, the fact that the mother did not share the carcass with the other members of the group supports the hypothesis of the nutritional benefit of cannibalism, Pilati said, because the others were not in need of additional nutrients. This is not the first time infant cannibalism has ex been explained as a way of increasing increase reproductive success. In 2019, researchers observing a population of white-faced capuchin monkeys in a national park in Costa Rica witnessed a female eating the remains of an infant that had died after falling from a tree. The female was not the infant's mother, but she did give birth two, day, uh, two weeks later, suggesting she only turned to cannibalism to gain extra nutrients for her own offspring. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, in a zoo, you know, they kind of should have everything they need. I mean, look at all the food all over the ground in there. Like, they're, they're being fed. So they should be getting the nutrients they need, but maybe it's just the instinct to do so. It's the only thing I can think of that would be a reason for this. Um, but at the same time, who the hell knows why certain things happen? I mean, uh, certain snakes that give live births, like uh, boas and uh, you know, mostly boas, but I haven't seen rattlesnakes do this. But when a boa, like an anaconda, will lay a slug, which is just like the, they literally lay extra yolk sacs. And they're that have no babies on there so that they can turn around and eat it and immediately get some new nutrients back, which I, I understand to an extent, but like at the same time, like you had to create it, like the animal had to create it. So like in that instance, would it be more beneficial for you not to have to do that? Like just don't make it and you don't have to expend that energy. I don't know. Maybe it's a whole different process. Maybe it's better if they eat it that way. Maybe it's just like, oh, I need something in my stomach, and this is going to kind of, you know, hold me over. I don't know. But um, the researchers of the recent study believe the baby drill's age could also have played a role in being eaten. The younger the baby, the less likely the mother-infant attachment has become sufficiently strong to prevent maternal cannibalism of the dead infant, Balaji said. But the researchers do not believe the monkeys captivity played a role in the death of the infant or the cannibalism from the mother as the zoo takes efforts to make sure the monkey's lives engaging wait, li wait to make the monkey's lives engaging researchers said and this effort extended to other primates in the safari park uh, for instance in 2021 uh, Keeper set up a large screen in the chimp enclosure to enable the apes to FaceTime with other chimps living in another Czech zoo in Bruno. Uh, the virtual meeting was set up to help replace social interactions with visitors that the chimps had been kept away by the COVID-19 pandemic and proved very popular with the chimps. So they were FaceTiming other chimps. That's kind of cool. Um, I mean, this is just a gruesome... I mean, it, like when you go to a zoo, you know, most of the time they're, they're just kind of sitting there because that's mostly what animals do in the wild. Like, Depending on the species, obviously, most animals are not spending their time doing stuff. Most of the time, animals spend their time not doing anything because they can't afford to. They can't afford to give up all of that valuable energy, and so oftentimes, the heat of the day, as an example, here like in Florida, you go to a zoo during the summer, and like the animals are just sitting there. They're trying not to bake out there. Like it's hot. And then, you know, during the winter, you'll go there and they'll be all doing all sorts of stuff because they, you know, it's not as hot. It's not as miserable. And, you know, but these animals in these zoos should be fed pretty well. Like they should have the, like the utmost care. And, you know, you see them doing stuff every once in a while. Most of the time they're just sick. Um, and in this case, I mean, when they do things that animals in their, you know, the animals normally do, it's um it's shocking to people and it really shouldn't be um but you know i don't think if someone going to the zoo wants to watch a mother throw a dead baby around and then eat it i can understand why they shut it down but like kind of part of nature like it's just kind of part of it i don't know 
I thought it was very, very interesting. I'm not laughing at the fact that this is a dead baby. It's just like that. I mean, obviously I'm not laughing at the fact that it happened. I'm laughing at the fact that people just forget that this stuff happens in nature all the time. Way worse than this happens. I mean, shoot, fish eat their babies all the time. Like all sorts of other animals eat bears. Bears are ruthless. Like literally like oh, lions, a new, a new, um, you know, male comes in and takes over a pride and he'll kill all the babies from that other male. Just like, just do it. And then he'll go and because as soon as literally like there are some species of animals that are like, this brood is too small. I'm just going to kill them and start over. I'm going to eat them. So I get that nutritional boost so I can make more that are better than this group because this group sucks. Like that, that's how animals, most of them don't care. Yes. There are some that will protect their babies no matter what, because of that's the way like, you know, birds as an example, but a lot of them are great parents because like, it's not easy for that to happen. They have to sit there on the eggs. Like they really put time and effort into it. But you know, it, like there are certain birds that'll sit there in an open field over their eggs as a tractor comes because like, I would rather die than, you know, my my babies die so like i mean if i'm going if they're going down i'm going down with them and most animals aren't like that monkeys i i don't know necessarily this species but it's the same sort of thing i'm sure that she has maternal instincts is very sad that it happened realized that it did happen there's nothing more she could do probably went through multiple stages of grief and um was throwing like a, a, a fit like was upset and you know, I don't know. This is the way that she decided to mourn was to eat her baby around and then eat it. Let me know what you think down below. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll keep you updated on anything. If you find articles you want me to go over, comment them down below. Because, um, I mean, I like finding this stuff, but I, I see all this stuff being shared and on, you know, Facebook and you know, just randomly popping up and people do tag me in this stuff and I really do look at them. So anyways, go check out my Discord, DNA underscore reptiles. I will put a link in the description below as well. And I will see you on the next one. Stay wild.